Hey, welcome to Two Stall Garage. Today, it's a nice sunny day. In this granary behind us here, we've got a barn find. Let's go check it out. This has been sitting for a few years and it's time to do one of two things it's time to either get it out and get it running and take it to some car shows or just do some sunday driving or it's time to move it down the road This is uh, definitely an old greenery. There's an old big mow mower back there. Pickup topper, lots of stuff needs to be cleaned up, thrown away. This does not need to be thrown away. It needs to be put back on the road. <clears throat> 1979 Dodge D50 Sport pickup truck. Could be wrong, but I think the only thing that's been done to this, the only couple of things uh, that would make it not uh, factory or that aren't factory is right here. There's a CB radio antenna. This is for a whip. These would tie off back here and go all the way up to the front. We think a big whip would be quite longer than this pickup truck even. Go along the back here, we've got our tailgate. Just some nice, nice old pinstriping. Tail lights are in good shape, both of them. And this has the chrome bumper on it. If you like mini trucks, you gotta like this one. Okay. Can you guys see that? actually says how to use spare tire carrier. It's still got the instructions on from when this truck was new. 1979. Somebody put a bed liner in it. Lots of birds. Tailgate closed is good. Sport. See your side markers. Looks like a pretty straight pickup truck. It's got the original tires on it, original center caps, original pinstriping on the tires, on the rims. Tires have been replaced by the previous owner. It's got the cargo light right here. And that is still, still good. No cracks or anything in that. It's got the original windshield wiper arms. And I don't want to touch bird poop, so I'm gonna wash my hands after this, but check this out. This vehicle has been tested under and conforms to California assembly line test requirements. California standards, Mitsubishi Motor Corporation. This is the original windshield. And I don't know if it's got any cracks in it because I can't see. But this part shows that it's got the original windshield, it's the original sticker. Wowzers. Original rear view mirrors. Oh, let's look at this real quick. It's got D50 emblem on both sides. Sport. I 
locks work good. I'm not going to try to roll the windows down because I don't want to put any bird feces in, but look at these door jams. Just, I mean, look at these, uh, look at the hardware, as clean as could be. A couple spider webs. That's nice and soft and good shape. Carpet looks like it has seen its better days. It's got a different floor mat in it. That carpet looks good under there. It doesn't even smell bad in here. Seats, they're still soft. There's one crack right down here, run right there too. Wonder if that can be repaired fairly easily. Wow. Whew. I'm gonna sit in it real quick. I don't even want to sit on the seats, but I guess I gotta make it or not make it. It's got a crack right up here. That's separated for sure. Wow. Yeah, just totally separated. That is nuts. There's not a broken piece up there at all. It's just, that's how much it moved. One crack right here. I mean, the dash, if it's broken, it's broken. So, I mean, it's broken. But uh, if that wasn't the case, I guess there's one over here too. More spider webs. Let's see if I can get you guys up there to take a look at the radio spot and the vents. You guys see this? There we go. It's got the original radio in. Okay, that's the on off right here. That's on. Mm. Those are a little stuck, maybe. Oh, it moves in, okay. These are your two presets, I guess. I don't know how to set those. FM, FM, or FM. What does that mean? You think back in 79, it was just probably AM. But uh, this says FM. Your tuner, that does not work. Let's see, I'm turning it. You got your circulation outside or inside. I can hear it moving in there. Heat, hot versus cold. Moves very good. And as you can see right here, AC. In these trucks, got your selector, of course. But if you want to turn your AC on, this just turns the fan on. You actually would slide this over huh wowzers this actually tells you how cool you want it if you want it maxed come all the way over because this is not a temperature i guess this is just defrost heat or vent and you don't have anything that says cool you what you've got is you've got this heat is either off and your air conditioning's on turn it off there or you've got your heat on I'm gonna turn it off cigarette lighter it was used at some point in time looks good though got a little storage space right here hmm Papers down here. Pomona Valley Dodge, Montclair, Montclair, California. Hmm. I'm not seeing how much it sold for. I didn't look very hard either. Let's take a look at this. Dodge D50 pickup truck, 1979, operating instructions and product information. 
still in packaging. Check this out. I got a spider on me. Got some pictures here. I'll cover up their license plate. This must have went from when the truck was in its younger years. It's got a tow hitch on it. This thing has 82,000. 637 original miles. Show you guys another picture here. This was taken in November of 1983. November in California looks great. We're out here in South Dakota. It's not so sunny and warm. You can see it's got the whip on it right there. It's coming up over the cab it looks like. Probably over the cab all the way over to the other side. Wowzers. Still got the uh, the wheels on it. One more here. Hooking it up to the motorhome, getting ready for a trip. Look at that. November of 83 as well. Look at this, dial your mileage in. This must help you figure out your miles per gallon. I'm not sure, yeah it does. Yep, miles per gallon. Right there. The old school way of doing your MPGs. I suppose back then you didn't have a calculator. You could use a pencil and paper to do your division. Or have one of these things from Mission Ontario. Chrysler Subpont. Subcompact car and truck, 1979. Oh, man. Leave that there. It's the other seat, of course. This is all nice. Opens up nicely. Oh, close is easy. Wow. Catalytic converter information. Review mirror. There's a brake, interior dome light. It's got two clicks, three actually, one, two, three. Put it back over. Missing its ceiling, not the roof, but the material. Look at that, how clean that is. It's got the bin. Manufactured in Japan by Mitsubishi. You can see it's got the cable over there for the tailgate. It's got it over here too. I mean, totally intact. Even those connections look good. Not rusted. California vehicle. Glass is good. Dodge hood emblem. Some really cool pinstriping. Roof has all the bird feces runs down. Let me put you down real quick and put the hood holder up. Where, oh, where would that thing be? There it is. All right, here we go. Engine coolant, vehicle emissions control. Take a look at the whole hood. It's pretty nice, there's a little bit of surface rust. Nothing much at all. Over here you've got the vacuum hose installation information, black, green, yellow, white. EGR valve, thermal valve, solenoid, and it's got your adjusting screw locations for the carb too. Your idle mixture screw. That is a big pile of bird poop. Very clean. Hmm. That doesn't look too clean. It needs to be flushed out. I don't even want to push on this because I don't want to break it. It did go down. 
Got your overflow. Looks dirty in there, but the coolant looks good. Good enough. Missing its hose for the breather. Belt's been replaced. L023P is the model. The engine's G54B. Manufactured in Japan. Windshield wiper motor. And here it is again. This is pretty neat. Fuel filter is bone dry. Mopar Air Conditioning, Chrysler Corporation. Okay. Lots of rat feces on the top. Hopefully not inside. This must be the canister for the AC. No, I don't think so. I don't know what that is. This is the canister for the AC. So there it is. Tell me what you think. Everything looks good. Even the flap there. That glass is good. Looking for the passenger side. Looks pretty nice. Check this out. Five speed with reverse, obviously reverse. You can get your gauges down here. Looks like that uh, the bordering is kind of wore off. You get your oil pressure, your amperage for your alternator. On the gauge, gauges up here we've got the tack. Over there we've got the temp and the feel and of course speedo. And uh, the steering wheel just looks good. It's pretty awesome, actually. It's not a Porsche emblem. But I tell you what, for these little D50s, that's pretty cool. Looks like that. Carpet could definitely be replaced. Straw. It's got little speakers on each door down here. Got three speakers in it. We're gonna have to get this thing out of here. What do we do with it? Sell it, put it in car shows, maybe put it in some car shows first and sell it while we're there or sell it afterwards, have a little fun, get it running good. The only thing that would make this better is if it was a four-wheel drive. It's only two-wheel drive. And if it had the 4055 in it, which is the turbo diesel. Those are pretty rare. But having one of those, I don't I don't know if they uh actually came in these D50s. I think those are specific to the Rams. Dodge Ram 50s from 83 to 85, maybe. Maybe 86. Not sure. So, that's it. I wanted to show you guys and gals what's going on out here in this granary. Comment below what you think we should do to it. It's a mini truck, so it's pretty cool. You don't see these too often anymore, especially in this type of condition. Original sticker on the window, original sticker on how to operate the tailgate uh, out on the back. And the only thing I could really see that was busted was that dome light on the inside, but the cargo light in the back is good. I think they made some louvers for these little mini trucks for the back windows at times. That might look kind of cool. Or uh, leave it original or put a roll bar in the back. That would be pretty neat. Of course, it's only a two-wheel drive. Anyways, thanks for watching. We appreciate you coming and hanging out and watching Two Stall Garage videos. Uh, feel free to check us out on Facebook. We're trying to grow some likes on that page. Uh, we've got the Honda Big Red that we're working on. That's a customer build. 
Uh, but we have a couple others. We got a 110 and a 90 that we're going to be working on here pretty soon. Those are going to be going up for sale eventually. Um, and we're going to tear them down and put them back together. So should be pretty fun. We'll make sure we document that. Um, all kinds of stuff going on uh, in our small amount of spare time that we have. So thanks again. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.